Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about mass device models. So, when a transistor is to be used in small signal analysis and as well as a DC analysis, we should know what are the different methods are available to analyze the particular transistor, like mass transistor. So, there are actually a mass device capacitance that are existed and the small signal model that needs to be converted and the different spice spice models and nothing but software models all these are used to uh, analyze the mass transistor using any softwares i will tell you when we go into that and nmos versus pmos devices and long channel versus short channel models in order to understand all these uh, points from second to six you should know what is the internal structure of the MOS device that is called MOS device layout okay so MOS device layout first we will see what is the internal structure and what are the contacts that we are having in the MOS transistor later we are going to see <coughs> what are the different capacitances that are existed between the layers that is MOS device capacitance and MOS small signal model, it is very 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 important, the MOS small signal model is used to convert the transistor into its AC equivalent small signal model to calculate different parameters like voltage gain, input impedance, output impedance and the MOS SPICE models, the SPICE models are used to simulate the device using the system, okay, different uh, simulations are there like uh, Xilinx platform is there, uh, CADAS tool is there, Wevado tool is there, Synopsis is there, okay, Microwind is there, like that we have different, different uh, tools are available, Mentor Graphics is there, different tools are there, all these tools are used to simulate the hardware, uh, or simulate your uh, transistor modelized circuits. And another thing is, what are the different types of uh, MOS transistors, NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor, what is the characteristically differences between the MOS transistors, we are going to see and long channel and short channel models okay in this particular video i am going to explain the first two types mass device layout and as well as mass device capacitance the remaining i will explain in the coming videos first let us see mass device layout mass device layout so if you see the three dimensional diagram of this mass transistor you are having a gate terminal at the center a gate terminal at the center and this may be the source and this may be the drain okay so it is the drain terminal and this is the source terminal and this is the gate terminal in mass technology gate and drain are interchangeable we know that in mass technology gate and source are interchangeable that means you can call it as drain and you can call it as source that depending upon the usage of the device that depending upon the connections that we are giving to the transistor that may be treated as either source or drain because both are same both are uh, that means the doping concentration of both the devices both the um, layers is same that's why there is no difference between the source and drain terminals but whereas when we go to the bjt bipolar junction transistor and there is a difference in the doping concentrations of each and every layer like emitter base capacitor emitter, emitter base collector uh, in these three regions the doping concentration is different but here the doping concentration is common in all these three different uh, two different layers like source and drain coming to the gate gate is acting as the input terminal where it is having a contact over here see here the black color shows the contact this is the contact cut here is the, the contacts for this source and as well as drain okay and it is the polysilicon where it is existed between this is the polysilicon where it is existed between oxide layer and the the substrate this is the oxide layer okay and this is the n plus region this is another n plus region so that the p type substrate we have to take okay this is the internal structure of this transistor the same we are going to see on the top view this is the channel area see channel from here to here channel is existed between these two so this is the length of the channel see here it is shown length of the channel 
and width of the channel from here to until the depth how much long it is having this is width okay the same is just shown from the top view here these are the contacts and this is another contact for the gate and this is the length of the channel and this is the width of the channel so that this will be the channel area okay so this figure shows the bird's eye view and the top view of this mosfet this is the bird's eye view and this is the top view of this mosfet the gate polysilicon and source drain terminals must be tied to metal metal is nothing but aluminium aluminium wires that serve as interconnects aluminium we are using as interconnects with low resistance and capacitance so aluminium has to be taken aluminium must be used for interconnects because it is having with low resistance and capacitance low resistance and capacitance so to accomplish this one or more contact windows must be opened in the in each region filled with metal and connected to upper metal wires see one or more why we are using two this is the reason it may be it must be having low resistance and capacitance so note that the gate poly extends beyond the channel area by some amount to ensure reliable definitions of the edge of the transistor see why we are not taking at this particular point is the same is extended onto this particular point to ensure reliable definitions of the edge of the transistor okay i will write here gate terminal is extended gate terminal is extended beyond the channel beyond the channel by some amount to ensure reliable definition of the edge because we have to consider fringing fields okay we'll tell uh, edge of the transistor of the transistor so in the capacitance calculation i told you fringing field fringing field is nothing but what is the capacitance existed at the edge of every layer that we should consider for accurate measurement of wiring capacitance okay so that's why this gate terminal is extended till the edge of this particular layer so that the edge capacitance or fringing field capacitance can be calculated and the source and drain uh, junctions play an important role in the performance to minimize the capacitance of source and drain the area of each <coughs> each junction must be minimized see source and drain we cannot increase more than its limit because if you increase the source and drain what happens their capacitance may be increased okay because that's why we should have some limitation or the minimized source and drain regions must be considered okay so source and drain source and drain capacitances must be minimized by taking small area of each layer okay so that the source and drain capacitances can be in control okay so this is about the mass device layout next you will see what are the different capacitances that are existed among different layers 
see normally we know this is the transistor with the three terminals gate drain and source gate drain and source this is the transistor with these three terminals now we are going to see the different capacitances that are existed from gate to drain this cgd is existed each and every internal layers okay if you if you name it like a gate and drain a capacitance is existed if you name like a gate and source a capacitance is existed and drain and even substrate nothing but bias that is also some capacitance is existed okay here b stands for bias or we can say substrate we can say substrate so between these substrate and these three terminals capacitance is also existed from gate to substrate from gate to uh, drain and gate to source these are the three capacitors that are existed from the gate and similarly if you take a drain drain to this gate and drain to substrate these are the two capacitors associated with the drain terminal and coming to the source source to this one cgs source to gate source to substrate and these are the two terminals existed which is this source terminal and coming to substrate terminal which is the fourth terminal of the transistor having the capacitances existed with these three terminals gate drain and source okay more elaboratedly if you want to see the capacitances existed see these are the mass device capacitances the first figure shows the mass device capacitances and the second device is the source and drain junction capacitances into bottom plate and sidewall components see here in addition to these components what we have seen here in addition to these capacitors some other capacitors are also existed see properly this is the polysilicon terminal this is the polysilicon layer and this is the oxide layer see clearly this is the oxide layer and this is the n plus diffusion nothing but a semiconducting layer now this is a semiconducting layer polysilicon is a semiconducting layer and this n plus diffusion is a semiconducting layer whereas these two semiconducting layers are separated by an oxide layer nothing but there exists a capacitance what is the meaning of capacitance capacitance is two conducting plates separated by a dielectric medium two conducting plates separated by a dielectric medium so here oxide layer is acting as a dielectric medium it is one oxide it is one conducting layer it is one connecting layer so that a capacitance is existed that is c3 coming to c1 here polysilicon we know oxide layer is a dielectric material coming to the bottom what is this this is nothing but inversion layer this is nothing but inversion layer which is n plus region from here to here that means once channel is created the p type substrate is converted into n type material that is what inversion layer because of this inversion layer it is also a conducting layer it is a conducting layer between these two some c1 is existed and again similarly the opposite action with the source terminal this is c4 c3 and c4 are same okay and coming to the c2 c2 is now it is the p type substrate here here we have a p type substrate here it is the inversion layer in between these two some depletion layer is created because depletion layer is formed between every p and n regions so c2 is existed in that way and coming to this p type substrate here it is the p type substrate you see here it is written and we have a depletion layer all over the around this n plus and again till this this is also depletion region so depletion region is acting as an insulator and it is a conducting layer it is a conducting layer between these two some other capacitance c5 is existed in a similar way c6 is also existed okay all these are the internal capacitors that are virtually existed because of the materials that are created inside the mass structure along with this source and uh, source terminal and drain terminal are also having some other capacitance which is cj and cjsw okay these capacitances are bottom plate capacitance and sidewall components 
okay so these are the different capacitors that are that are existed when we consider the mass structure okay so remaining i will explain in the next video thank you